Hey everyone, Tio here. In today's video, I'm reviewing the XP Pen Artist 13th second generation pen display. First of all, disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by XP Pen. As usual with my reviews, I will just present to you my findings so that you can decide whether or not this is worth the money. And this is priced at US $299. At the time of making this video, XP Pen is having a for sale with 30% off selected pen displays and uh, Artist 13 second generation happens to be one of those pen displays which are discounted. So right now it's under $260 US dollars. And currently, these are the Artist series pen displays. From the second generation, there is the 10 inch, the 12 inch, the 13 inch, the 16 inch, and the 22 inch. The 10, 12, 13, and 16 are using the new design. By the way, a few weeks ago, I have made an unboxing and first impressions video talking about some of the features and also compared the 13 with the 10 and 16 inch pen displays. So in this video, I'll try not to repeat myself too much and talk about things that were not covered in that earlier video, which I will link in the video description below. And I probably should have mentioned this earlier. If you want to save time, you can check out the text review that I have already written on my blog. The link is also in the video description below. There are a few important things you need to know about this pen display before you buy it. First, this pen display may be very thin, but it's actually not a tablet, it's a monitor, which is to say that you will need to connect this to a computer in order to use it. And currently I have it connected to my laptop. You can use this with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Android. Second important thing is this pen display comes with a 3 to 1 cable which supports HDMI video connection. This pen display also supports USB-C video connection, but the USB-C cable is not included. The hole for the USB-C cable is quite small, so I'm actually using my own USB-C cable and this part here is small enough to go in. If you are not sure whether or not your USB-C cable is small enough to go in, then I recommend you buy the USB-C cable from XP Pen instead. So if you're going to buy the USB-C cable from XP Pen, that's extra cost. This cable that I'm using is made by Spigen and it's quite short. Ideally, I would prefer to have my laptop on the left side of the pen display so that I can use the keyboard shortcuts with my left hand, but as you can see, this is not possible because the cable is quite short, so I will need a USB-C extension cable for this or use a wireless keyboard that you see earlier. The last important thing to note is there is no stand included. So if you use the pen display like this flat on the table for drawing for long periods of time, this is not good for posture, this is not ergonomic, so I highly recommend you get a proper stand. I will put a link in the video description below to the stand that I'm using and this one is really good. I've been using this for many years and I have two of this. The XP Pen Artist second generation pen displays have this feature which I did not know until recently is you can actually use this pen display as a screenless drawing tablet. So you just have to press this button here, the power button for 3 seconds and this will black out but you can still draw on this and you can move the cursor on your computer with the pen display. I'm not sure how useful this feature is but it's there for you to use if you need it and you can press the power button again to turn on the pen display and it will go back to the pen display mode. 13.3 inch is a comfortable size to work with and this is the smallest size I would recommend you get if you can stretch your budget. This is just a more comfortable size to work with, especially if you need to draw for long periods of time and also the UI elements are bigger and easier to see for your eyes. Of course, if you can get something even larger, that would be great. 12 inch feels kind of small and 10 inch is even smaller. So this is how big the display is compared to A5 size sketchbook. So you can see it's much wider. All right, let's draw. All right, let's draw. The X3 Elite pen is a very sensitive pen. This pen has very low initial activation force. As long as the pen tip is touching the display, even if you don't apply any pressure, 
you will be able to get a line. So this means you can actually use a very thick brush and use that same brush size to draw everything. And to get thin lines, you just have to apply very uh, minimal pressure. There are nine physical shortcut buttons on the side and they are customizable and the uh, buttons work well. But I still prefer to use my keyboard because I have access to all my keyboard shortcuts. There are only nine buttons here, which I find quite limiting. This display is laminated, so there is no gap between the line and the pen tip. And because there is no gap, there is no parallax and this allows me to draw separate lines like this and join them together without overshooting or without creating gaps like this. So when you see the pen tip on the display, that's where the line will appear. In other words, this pen has very accurate cursor tracking and the cursor tracking is accurate even right up to the extreme edge of the display. This is the left edge of the display and the pen tip is in contact with the display so the cursor is directly beneath the pen tip. And the cursor will not stray away from the pen tip regardless of the angle of the pen. This pen supports slightly over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity and it supports tilt sensitivity as well. There are some pen displays with problems with tilt brushes where the tilt brush will not work at the edge of the pen display but this pen and this pen display has no issues with tilt brushes working at the left and right edges and the cursor will also follow the direction of the pen my overall drawing experience on this pen display is very positive the lines always come out the way i expect them to if you draw diagonal lines very slowly there may be slight diagonal line wobble this is me drawing at slower than usual speed if you draw with usual speed like this the lines are quite smooth and the lines are able to taper quite beautifully so the lines can taper sharply and smoothly drawing performance for this pen display is well fantastic you can create dots by just tapping on the display it's easy to draw lines with consistent widths by applying consistent pressure. I did not experience any glitches while drawing. Now the software that I'm using is Affinity Photo. And this is the drawing performance you can expect with other drawing apps as well. The drawing performance is very consistent very predictable. This pen display uses a matte screen protector which provides a nice tactile paper-like surface for drawing and it feels really nice to draw on this with the pen and also when your palm is on the display. And the pen display does not produce much heat so you can draw on this for long periods of time without feeling discomfort. The anti-glare on the matte screen protector is not that aggressive in the sense that you can still see the content through the diffused reflections. The downside to matte screen protector is it may introduce green or color noise to the image but here the green or color noise is minimal. The colors on this pen display look good out of the box. With a color calibrator, I measure color support for 100% sRGB 84% Adobe RGB, 89% P3, and 79% NTSC, and a maximum brightness of 190 nits. So this is a good looking display. Resolution for this pen display is 1080p, so it's 1920 by 1080, and on a 13.3 inch display, there is slight pixelation when working from one arm's length away, but it's not really an issue overall the image quality still looks pretty good and uh, ui elements such as the menus the buttons the icons the palettes they still look 
big enough for me to use this pen display at 1080p without any UI scaling. If you're going with a smaller pen display like the 12 inch, you may have to scale the UI elements uh, to make them bigger. But for 13.3 inch, uh, the size for the icons, the tags, uh, the menus uh, look, still look all right. This pen display is actually quite easy to review in the sense that I did not experience any glitches while drawing or with the drivers except for a minor issue with the Mac OS driver. The driver on Mac OS for some reason does not launch automatically when you start the Mac so you have to manually set the app to open at lock-in because otherwise if there is no driver you will not be able to use the pen. This is the Mac OS driver. The Windows driver should have very similar functionality. So this is where you can calibrate the display if for some reason the cursor actually strays away from the pen tip. And if you are a left-handed user, you can change the orientation here to 180 degrees. This is where you can customize the pen, the pen pressure. And this is where you can customize the 9 physical shortcut buttons. You can create your own keyboard shortcuts or choose from the predefined shortcuts here. One feature that's missing from the Mac OS driver is there is no way for you to adjust the display settings such as brightness, contrast, color temperature, RGB using the driver. You can do that with the Windows driver but not with the Mac OS driver. So if you want to color calibrate your pen display manually you have to do it through mac os system preferences so just create your own custom color profile by clicking the plus icon and go through the calibration process here this is the windows driver and under the work area tab on the left side you can see there is this display settings button which is available here but not available on the Mac OS driver. So this is where you can set the display settings. This pen display does not have an OSD button here. So to adjust the display settings, you have to do it through the driver or through Mac OS display settings. The price of this pen display at US $299 is quite competitive compared to pen displays from other brands. And you may be able to find this pen display at lower prices when there are promotions going on. So it's a good looking pen display with fantastic drawing performance and it comes with 18 months of warranty. So if you are interested to get this, do consider using the affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below. I earn some commission for each sale but at no extra cost to you. Alright, I hope this review is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye!